Yeah. Because it further confuses. No, because it's a, because it's a metaphor yeah. of um, of two people talking face to face. Mm. Right? When we're talking to each other now face to face, mm. there's a certain level of clarity that we just wouldn't have if we weren't face to face. Yeah. Right? That's the level of clarity that Moses had. Yes. Now with other prophets, this is not the case. Other other prophets, um, it's uh, I mean, the way that the rabbis used to describe this, the difference between Moses' prophecy and other prophecies, yeah. is that is between looking through a clear glass and looking through a glass with cla with cracks. Right? With cracks. Yeah. There's cracks in the. In That's the, a very in, good in example glass, co right? comparison to the uh, Bible, I would say. A, a way that I've also heard it described um, mm. in a more modern sense mm. is, uh, although this is really only applied like uh, 30 years ago, back with. Uh, would you Would with, you call the followers of that crackpots? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. No, no, that was very good, very good. Um, that's, that, that's, my kind of, that's my kind of thing, that. Um, um, so, back to the, uh, yeah, you, you got the so, one type right, of revelation. Uh, another way of, uh, of explaining yeah. it is the difference um, in the olden days between a local call and an international call. Okay. Right? The, the international call is all crackling. Right? Yeah. So you're not getting the full thing. It's not so clear. The yes. line's not that clear. That's yeah. a regular prophet, right? Regular prophets like Joshua or Samuel, David or Solomon, Nathan, Gad, Isaiah, mm. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, etc., etc., etc. Then you've got Revelation, which is much, much less clear, which yeah. is what we call a bascol. Bascol. Yeah, bascol. Bascol. Yeah. So Bascol means daughter of a voice. Okay. Right? And the reason we call it that is because it's not quite a voice. It's like it's less than a voice. Like it's, like it's it's a very it's a very weak type of revelation. Who, who, decides, who decides that as well? As to what Who decides when, it? Yeah, to, as to what category it goes in. I mean is, and is, is, this, is, this is stuff that the rabbis have brought down, um, and this is just how we see it in Judaism. So how they categorized it. Right? This is how they categorized it. So Vasco we'll we'll is time. a type of, a type of revelation <laughs> this is quite interesting. in which, in which yeah. you in which you don't actually hear a voice. Yeah. Rather, it's it's a, it's a certain type of experience where it's as if you've heard a voice, but you haven't quite. That's what this I'm calling is also a to a prophet. So this is not a prophet. To a non-prophet. This is this is to a non-prophet. Okay. So we believe that that in certain generations rabbis yes. were able to receive a baskel, yeah. but they, these baskels were always taken with a massive pinch of salt. Yeah. And in some cases in the Talmud, they basically said we reject the baskel because mm. um, because the baskel was telling us something that we know is not true. Yes. Yeah, sure. And therefore we we must have we must have misunderstood it. Yeah. And therefore we can't um, yeah. we, we can't accept that. Um, so, so, so that's for the Basco. Mm. Um, so then, then, then the lowest form yeah. is called Ruach Kodesh. This is a term that the uh, that Christians have um, have uh, bastardized and called. <laughs> I was just going to say that. And, call, and called it Holy Spirit. Mm. It doesn't really mean that. It really means a spirit of holiness. And basically, this is, with all of the other ones, you don't actually need to be doing something to get yourself to connect to God. Mm. Ruach Kodesh, you need to be doing it. I. You're doing like most of the work, and then, then there's a little bit of inspiration at the end. So you're doing a lot of mental, um, rigorous Torah study, and at a certain point, God will kind of fill you in at the end. It's like that R ah moment where God's filled you in on the on the last bit, um, right? It's it's much more in the heart. It's a much more personal type of thing, um, and that's what's called ruach hakodesh. Um, and it can be disputed whether or not that still exists today. Um, yeah. I, I know that um, um, the, the Vilna Goran said that, it, uh, that, that the Ruach HaKodesh had been gone mm. since like the you know, or something. Do you, do you think, do you, and, do you think uh, other forms of revelation still exist today? Or do you I'm think it's sure. now come to an end? I, I really don't know if there's any forms of revelation still around today. I don't know. No, I, I don't, not, not still around, but still uh, being revealed. Right, I, I don't know. Yeah. Of I, course, you believe they're still around, right? You believe that what you have in your hand yeah, is revealed. Oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but in terms of yeah. whether or not it still happens today, I'm not sure if even Ruach HaKodesh happens today. The, the rest of them, for sure not. But that last one, I'm not sure. So, okay. Um, 
Do you, do you, what, do you, what's your that, that understanding is, of the Islamic that, perspective? That, that, of, just one other thing. There is one other form of evolution, which is kind of outside that category system, mm. which is only ever happened once in history, and that's what we call Mahmud Hasinai, right? The the Mahmud Hasinai means when they were all standing at Mount Sinai, the whole people, and they all heard God speak. Yes. That was a specific type of revelation that never occurred again, where yeah. everyone heard God together. What's your understanding of the Islamic perspective of revelation? From, from I your have very li I don't have really any um, mm. knowledge of how exactly it works. I know that they believe Moses had a thing that no one else had. I don't believe they believe that prophets have a little bit lesser, but I don't know any more than that. Yeah. Can I tell you the, what, sure. our, our perspective? Because I think it coincides and, and correlates to a lot of what you said. And there is there's some differences. Um, the, first, the first one is we, we believe there's different types of revelation, like you also believe. We believe that Allah revealed books uh, to various different prophets. You know, these, these, were, these were actually the literal speech of Allah. You know, the, the Kalam Allah. Oh, right, the Kalam Allah. Yeah, the, the Kalam Allah, the speech yeah, yeah. of Allah, like the Torah. I've heard of the Kalam, yeah. Yeah, we would believe that the Torah was, um, you know, a, a, a natural book, or if you like, the tablets, or a, a, a natural scripture which was given to Moses uh, and it's, it's the word of, of God, Allah okay? it's not the, the words of Moses, it's not authored by Moses it's not inspired to Moses and in the words of Moses Is that you understand the, the difference between yeah, yeah, yeah. so okay. there's a very different perspective um, I think you believe in, the, the, you would say the Ten Commandments would be uh, something that was given to Moses but the rest of the what you what you name the Torah, the, the Pentateuch, right. would be inspired to Moses, but in the words of Moses, no? No, no. So what Absolutely would you what, what, what no. would you believe? We in? believe that God dictated letter for letter, word for word, to Moses what to write down for the Pentateuch, and Moses wrote down exactly what God told him to write. Even the part where it speaks yes. about Moses dying. Yeah, even his death. Right, and that that's actually how we explain it. That that they that that he, that, that they yeah, that's the position. Right. That's the position. The position is that. Right. Yeah. right. Um, in fact, the last part, when he, um, when he, the part where he died, he didn't write it properly. He, so, he, he wrote it with his tears, yeah. as he was told. That he wrote it with his tears. But writing with your tears is not considered so in, a kosher Torah. It's not considered yeah. valid for for use. Yeah. And therefore, Joshua then. So, in terms of the, in terms of the, 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 the tablets and the rest of the, what you label the Torah today. Yeah. Um, what parts would you say were on the tablets that revealed in the, in the first right. form of revelation which you mentioned? You know, because you, you, right. you, you mentioned the face-to-face the, the, the -face revelation. Would that be the tablets? Or is that... I think face-to-face -face revelation was throughout Moses' encounters with God. That was something that he managed to get, which is why his face shone when he came down mm. the mountain. Because um, he, he had this intense revelation. So do you know through, that's, throughout, that's the whole, continued throughout, throughout the whole the Old yes. Testament, do you can you distinguish between which is a type, which is which type of revelation out of all the different types I mean, you mentioned? Right. So, or is it, and is it is, it, is it a difference of opinion so, so in terms amongst of, your scholars right, on that? So as I say, it depends on the prophet. Right. Moses has upon him, upon him face to face, but the rest of the prophets don't. They all have a normal type of prophecy, which is the broken which glass. Is, yeah, the broken glass. Yeah. See, our perspective is that the prophets were all given. Uh, these, these main prophets were given uh, Kitab Allah, yeah. like, which is basically very absolute speech of Allah. Okay, right. but then there's also another type of revelation. Which is kalam. Hmm? Which is kalam Allah. No, no, it's the, huh? that, that is the kalam Allah. Uh, kitab, kalam. kitab is the same thing. They said the, the, the kitab right. is the speech of Allah. Right. Okay, like the, you know the, 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 the kitab the, is the kalam. Yeah, the, the, the speech of Allah. Yeah. So the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the Quran is the speech of Allah. And it's all Kitab Allah. They are, they are the revelations. Okay? Well, there's another form of revelation um, where the prophets would also be inspired. They would maybe hear uh, maybe a bell or the, you know, uh, uh, there would be, uh, it would be in a dream or something like that. But then they would know uh, what was revealed, but it would be in their speech. So this is, you're familiar with this, these are what the, the sayings and the actions of Prophet Muhammad which are recorded in the Hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this type of revelation is, is wahi, it's, a, it's revelation, 
but it's uh, the, the the meaning is revelation, but the speech, uh, the, the, the 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 wording, is the wording of Prophet Muhammad. Does that make sense? Is that, does that correlate to any of the, the types that you have? Is that? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to I have to ponder on that. I have to ponder on yeah. that a bit. Because the, uh, this type of revelation of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received. It's not like the broken glass. It's as clear as the Kalam Allah. It's as, right. it's as clear as the Kitab Allah. And we believe that all the prophets had their revelation was clear. Right. You understand? But not pre not preserved. And this is where we come to right. the Islamic perspective yeah, yeah. of the Torah being. It's not the only Islamic perspective. What's it's, that? it's certainly the Athari perspective. What what's what what's that? That is corrupted. The Old Testament. Are you going to say it was corrupted? Yeah. The, the Quran, the, from the Islam. The that, 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 that the Torah has been corrupted. What, what do you mean? Don't you believe the Torah has been corrupted? The Islamic Torah, yeah. The Islamic Torah. We believe that, that, that Allah gave Musa a Torah. Right. We believe that Torah does not exist today. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we don't believe the Pentateuch. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It is is the Torah from the Islamic perspective of what right. was given to Moses? The same way we don't believe the Zabur is the the collection of Psalms in, within the Bible, because according to you, it's a collection of writings by various different authors yes, who totally inspired. Yes, yeah. no, they we have put it all together. Yeah. yeah, we don't believe that. We believe that the the the, the, the Zabur. We wouldn't. I don't. I don't think the translation. Uh, Psalms would be good from you know translating uh, Z Z uh, Psalms from Zabur would, would be correct really right. even though that's a common translation. And I'm not even sure what the English word Psalms means itself, exactly. To be honest. Yeah. It, so the Hebrew word is Tehillim. Yeah. So Zabur was an actual Kitab Allah, the Kalam Allah given to right. David. Right. You, does that make sense? It's not. It doesn't right. resemble the the. It doesn't resemble the 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 Psalms within the the the, the Tanakh. Yeah. Right. The same way the New Testament, and I don't think this really appeals to you, but for just for anyone listening, is, 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 is a collection of writings after Jesus. This is not the Injil from the Islamic perspective. The Injil was a book given to Jesus. Right. Does that make sense? Because so, many people think that we believe in the, in the New Testament. We don't. We, right. Muslims don't believe in none of the Bible as, as a Kitab Allah right. or a revelation. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. I'm going to now look for Muhammad Hijab. No it's problem. We're doing a part three. No problem. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. Because you hold the position that we shouldn't translate in G as the gospel. We should just I don't, I don't, think, I don't think it's a, 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 good, a, good, a good translation as yeah. such. Nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's, actually, it's actually a good uh, little. Salam alaikum. How are you? How are you doing? Which is which? The audio is a lot better. He knows that. We are late, please. Yeah. Um.